Can I thank everyone who's come here tonight? It's a great attendance. And can I say that if there are detailed questions that we need to follow up with, my colleagues are here and we will work through some of those detailed road questions, for example, that I think are, uh, are very much to the fore. Equally, the growth in population has been very significant and has not been sufficiently planned. And we actually need to make sure that the, the planning is brought up to scratch, that the connections, the bus connections, that the, um, that the um, other services are brought forward. I mean, the, the State Treasurer is sitting on nearly $500 million worth of gate money that is collected from estates in areas like this. And that money should be spent for the purpose which it was collected, which is the infrastructure that is critically important. I say, let's be very clear about what's going on here. We've actually had a member here in this area, two members, for nearly 15 years they've been uh, in power of the last 19 years. They have not delivered the infrastructure that is required. They have not delivered the support that's required. Some of them don't even, as was pointed out, um, indeed live here. And I say to people, I say to people that we actually need those rail extensions now. We need the duplication and we need the improved uh, line and we need to get the planning for our road and rail infrastructure right. Um, again, I pay tribute to the work that the Council's done on this. We have drawn on some of that. We will work with the community to get the outcomes that are required and I make that commitment very strongly tonight um, that is about us listening and working. The, the example from the retirement village, Hunters, is, is a good one. People moved here, it was a, a much more rural area, and now the services have not kept pace. People deserve those services, they have a right to good services, and um, there is no reason why the services should be lesser here after this period of time uh, than in other areas of Melbourne. And we make that commitment that we're going to